Hi artists, so today we're going to make some folk art flowers. And folk art is really a broad term to describe a type of art that's made in a culture or a group of people. Um, a couple of years ago, um, a family from Oaxaca, Mexico came to our school and their type of folk art is carving animals out of wood and painting them with beautiful details. And it was such a magical, magical day to see all of their things. Um, we are going to be creating a folk art flower that involves beautiful, bright patterns and lines. In folk art, a lot of times you see bold line, color, and shape. Okay, so all you need is something to draw with and a piece of paper. We are gonna be holding it horizontally and we're gonna create three U shapes. Those are gonna be the bases for our flowers. Now, folk art is usually not super realistic. It's very much inventive and creative, which is perfect for us. So I'm gonna create U shapes about the size of my hand, maybe a little smaller. My hands are pretty big. And I'm going to make the first one in the center. So now I know I have room for one here and one here. If I start all the way on the left, I might make it too big or too small, and then I'll have gaps, and we don't want gaps. Try to make them match as best as you can, but as you can see, mine are not perfectly matched. This one is a little bit smaller, so it's no big deal. Now I want you to think of how we're going to finish off the top. These remind me of tulips already, so one way I could finish off the top is with a zigzag line. Another way I could finish off the top is with a wavy line. And then maybe I'll do a bumpy line. So, so far I have the base for my three flowers. Now I want to create different lines within them so I can add different colors. So for this one, maybe I'll keep adding those zigzag lines. I'm liking it already. It almost looks like an Easter egg. Cracked in half. I'm going to do some bumpy lines here. And I'm going to reverse my bumpy line. That looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll even do some circles. For this one, I'm going to do some diagonal lines. You do not have to make these lines that I'm doing. I would love for you to come up with your own patterns. Okay, but you're welcome to use these. Now let's create the stem. Okay, for the stem we're going to do two parallel lines. So those are two lines next to each other that do not intersect. I'm not going to go all the way down. I want to save room for some cute leaves. They do not need to be perfectly straight. Mine definitely are not. Okay, and then let's finish them up with some cute leaves. So I'm going to make a curve line and a curve line and a curve line and a curve line. There we go. This leaf I'm going to make a little bit more rounded instead of it having points. Oopsies. And then this one, maybe I'll give it some spikes. Okay, so now we have a row of very graphic, really beautiful flowers. At this point, you can leave it as is. You could also color it in with whatever materials you have at home, whether that's paint, colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever, and try to create some patterns. So, for example, you could do red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. You could color in these dots yellow and color the outside of this orange, and then the rest of it pink. I can't wait to see these guys. Bye.